Hello Sagittarius. Namaste. It is I, Gina Luisa, here to do your reading for the month of December of 2015. I'm going to continue how I've been doing it, taking the red deck, the blue deck, and then the animal oracle deck. Um, I'll shuffle them each and pull two cards from the bottom and then the top from each deck. And then I will read for the first half of the month and the second half of the month of December of 2015 for you. So let me shuffle the red deck first. This is for anyone resonating with the sign of Sagittarius. My Sagittarians. For the month of December of 2015. Sagittarius. The month of December of 2015. Let's see. We have the Four of Clubs. And we have the Eight of Spades. And on the top, we have the Five of Clubs. And we have the Queen of Spades. Hmm. Let's see what's the blue deck. The energies of the blue deck. <laughs> Sagittarius for the month of December of 2015. Sagittarius for the month of December 2015. King of Spades. And the Five of Hearts. Let's look at the bottom card. And the top card, six of diamonds. And the four of clubs. Now I'll shuffle the animal oracles. For Sagittarius for December. I have to be careful with these, they're very slippery. <laughs> Sagittarius for the month of December of 2015. Oh, we have the whale and the cheetah. And on the top, orangutan and red squirrel. Hmm. And then for all my glasses after they are. <laughs> they are they need to be cleaned. So Sagittarius. First the whale. Through music, you reclaim life's magic and grow strong in body and soul. So, Sagittarius, listen to music and let yourself feel inspired by the wisdom, by the, by the beat, you know. And let it help you think. And also, since working to live joyously, not living just to work. So they're asking you in December to take time in life to have fun. Not just, you know, it's not all about just living to work, work, work. It's about living to, to live. So I'll read from the book in a minute. <clears throat> First, I want to read these cards for you. We have the Five of Clubs and the Four of Clubs. So, <clears throat> this is saying to me, well, this is all about the mind. This is all about what's on your mind. It seems like you have your mind full of something right now. And it seems like it's going to get better. It seems like your mind is, is going to get a little bit lighter. over December. <clears throat> Perhaps things that are weighing heavy on your mind 
I have no idea what that sound is. Anyway, <laughs> I've looked. I can't find it. Maybe anyway, yeah, <laughs> something that weighs heavy on your mind. <laughs> In December, it's going to get just that little bit lighter. And it could be because <clears throat> you have become the master of your world. Here's the king of, of spades, and here's the six of diamonds. So perhaps you have a new source of income. Um, the the in, you put out feelers. Perhaps you you filled out applications and everything or something and um. That's what it feels like, and uh, the king of spades meaning you draw right into the real world that this garden of abundance that that you've got growing here. So it looks like new stability and less worries in the beginning of December for you. Let me read what whale and orangutan have to add. Whale. Sublime denizen of the deep oceans. Whale communicates in complex songs and serenades his love from afar, telling her of his prowess, experience, and wisdom. We rarely now use our voices except in mundane speech. The cry of triumph, the song of joy, the mystic's chant and the scream that releases tension all die before they find utterance. Yet rhythm, vibration, and frequency say much and heal both body and soul. Reclaim your voice and like whale grow strong and light as this magic transforms your mind. So dare to sing. Go karaoke or just put music on and sing to it or just jam and it's good for you it's very very healing for you i can attest to that <laughs> let's see what orangutan can add Ten. Utterly content in his lush rainforest, he sees no pressing need to swing on agile limbs from his soft arboreal bed at dawn. He rises when refreshed, stretching great arms before breakfasting unhurriedly on ripe fruits, and only then carrying on with the business of his day. For Orangutan understands the true value of time and counsels that you use it wisely. Are you working to live or living merely to work? Adjust your priorities, lest time slip silently away taking pleasure with it. So Orangutan is letting you know Sagittarius in the first two weeks of the month that everything's going just fine there's no need to hurry don't spend all your time just working it is okay it's okay to know you're you're doing what you need to do it's all coming in I do see that you are chilling you don't have much on your mind you understand that the food is there and, and you're just heading right for it. You know what I'm saying? It looks like you're king of your garden just like orangutan and you know the fruit is just right there and you're plucking it and eating it. What a, what a lovely first half of the month. Let me see what whale. Will be red whale. Oops. True, we red whale. So yes, it's saying the same thing. I was like having to look at it again saying, wait a minute. Because it's the same message really. 
less on your mind, more command of your environment, and no worries really. It's all going to happen for you the first two weeks. Let's see what the second two weeks hold for you, Sagittarius. Wow. You have the Queen of Spades and the Eight of Spades. This is all about the real tangible world. The Queen of Spades is a lot about your home environment, the real tangible things in your home. This is what you are concerned with in the, the first, I mean, in the second half of the month of December. Here you have the Eight of Spades. So you're all about a comfortable home. You're all about chilling in your home. You're all about a comfortable home. In December, the second half of December, you're, you're chilling in your home and you're very comfortable in your home. Your real world is pretty much how you would have it. Well, Sagittarius, you seem to be a very um, powerful in, in your content in making things manifest the way you want them to manifest in December. Here we have the Four of Clubs again, like we had the Four of Clubs that began off the beginning of the month. You're back in the Four of Clubs again. The Four of Clubs is one, two, three, four. All corners there. The box is there, ready to hold all of your hopes and dreams. And here we have the Five of Hearts. Finally, some hearts coming in for Sagittarius at the end of the month. Your heart seems to be content because your mind is at ease. You're open for love at the end of the month. And you might have some love coming in because you're open for it at the end of the month of December, Sagittarius. Let's see what the animal oracles can lend. We have Cheetah that says a decision once made will be followed by unwavering action. Well, that's what you're like, Sagittarius. Red Squirrel says, gather your resources now, for they will sustain you through the coming change. All right, let me read. Cheetah and Red Squirrel for Sagittarius for the second two weeks of December of 2015. Cheetah. Cheetah stalks silently with cat wisdom, but pursues her quarry, Fleet Gazelle, with the power of sight-honed magic. What other creature partakes of two natures? Look within to discover a plurality of talents and ways of being, for Cheetah is offering you the chance to be exceptional too. If Cheetah the fastest living mammal has run into your cards. This is not a time for hesitation. Decision followed by unwavering action is now essential. Like Cheetah, grasp for what life has to offer. So Cheetah is saying to you that this opportunity, you are going to be like Cheetah and you're going to be fast on it. I like here how it's saying discover your inner talents because way I was asking you to sing before. So look within you and find those things that, that, that bring you joy and, and grasp it, seize the day, seize the moments. Let's see what Red Squirrel has to add. Red Squirrel. Benevolent Red Squirrel has scurried into your cards so that you may prepare for the future, for changes in the air. She counsels that you gather skills that are universal, transferable, and fundamental, the simple tools of life, such as cooking or the growing of vegetables too often cast aside in a metropolitan world and preserve some of today's material bounty for the morrow. Unencumbered and adaptable, 
You may then, like squirrel, swim with the tides of the future and enjoy what is here today. So, embrace your inner talents. Squirrel is asking you to really gather your resources. You know, the fundamental things. Like, you know, it, with the cooking and, and the cleaning and the, the gardening and these things of the, that will sustain without any coming changes. Understand that you have all it takes. Understand that you are capable. And embrace that. So... Sagittarius, less on the mind because you seem to be master of your world. Finances are on the upswing and you finally, it looks like love is in the air for you. So happy December Sagittarius and I'll see you in December.